Hello, everyone. I believe we're going to get started now. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the UCSB Master of Technology Management class of 2020. My name is Sarah Hilliard Roof, and I work in the new, new venture programs here with TMP, and I will be moderating the event today. So welcome family and friends and guests. We really appreciate you being here today. Before beginning the ceremony, um, I'd just like to inform you all that all participants have been muted upon entry, um, and we will be recording the ceremony and we'll make it available to you at a later date. First, I would like to introduce MTM director and lecturer, Dave Adernetto. Uh, Dave has been with technology management for 10 years and teaches finance for technology companies in the MTM program. In addition to his MTM role, he is also the director of the New Venture Program at UCSB and chief architect of the campus-wide New Venture Competition. Dave joined our department after 20 plus years of executive level experience in the medical technology industry Please join me in welcoming Dave Adornetto. Thank you, Sarah. Hello, everyone, and welcome. It's great to have you all with us today. I know some of you are joining us from far across the globe, so a special welcome to you. And thank you for getting up early to be part of our celebration. It admittedly is a little bit odd being remote today, but I can see that some of you all are together and smiling. I'm sure you're relieved to be finished and just have all this, uh, this work and effort behind you. So, MTM Class of 2020, let me be the first today to congratulate you on a job well done. You've endured a demanding course load, you've managed a lengthy and challenging field project, and you've navigated complex, and I'm sure at times, interesting team dynamics, all while having to adapt to circumstances that none of us could have imagined. Hats off to you for your hard work, perseverance, and really remarkable attitudes through it all. Working with you closely over the last several weeks, as I have, I kept looking for signs of frustration overload, any indication that you were reaching your limits, but I rarely, if ever, observed any. You handled the circumstances of the last few months with remarkable patience and professionalism. You know the saying, we hear it all the time, adversity reveals character. It certainly has in this case. You've been tested in ways that go well beyond the MTM curriculum, and you have most assuredly passed. There should be no doubt that you are ready for the next phases of your lives and careers. As you all know, I had the privilege of greeting you all on your first day back in September. You were a little quieter then, perhaps a little bit less confident, and probably wondering if MTM is going to be as time consuming and demanding as I was leading you to believe. I hope I held up my end in managing your expectations of both the pain and the gain of the program, but I sure can tell you that you held up your end with how you developed over the last nine months. Watching your thesis presentations last week, observing the depth of the methods and sources you applied, seeing the confidence with which you presented was immensely gratifying. You should be very proud of what you've accomplished. I know that all of the faculty that shared in your journey are proud of you too. As you embark on your next steps as leaders, I'd like to leave you with a few thoughts based on my own experiences, successes, and yes, failures in my life and career. Mind you, some of these are still a work in process for me and may always be in some form or another. First, I want to encourage you to always keep an open mind, even when you believe strongly about something. Make time and find patience to listen to people you trust. Embrace fresh perspectives and know that there is most often more than one right answer to difficult questions. This especially holds true when you are leading people. Listening is a sign of empowerment and trust. And with empowerment and trust, you can drive progress and change. George Bernard Shaw once wrote, those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Class of 2020, stay curious, always be learning, and remain objective. Second, develop the awareness 
the self-awareness to know your limitations and have the competence to build around them. None of us are omniscient. We simply can't know everything. Get comfortable with what you don't know and be open to the help of others who can help fill those gaps. If the NTM program has reinforced anything, it's the power of the team is so much greater than the contribution of the individual. You will exhibit strength as a leader and earn credibility when you own your weaknesses. Third, and finally, I know you remember the all important mantra from our finance course, cash is king. But today, I wanna to remind you that in our work lives, money is not everything. As you progress through your careers, look for inspiration in your work, whether it be for a company with an important mission, a customer or stakeholder you feel passionately about serving, or a position that you have long aspired to hold. When you find inspiration in what you do, you will do your best work and you will make the biggest difference. Thanks to all of you for being a major inspiration for my work. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with you this year. In closing, let me assure you that your experience in MTM has well prepared you for your next steps. The coming months and years won't be without challenges, but you should know by now that you can conquer just about anything. As you move forward, remember that you are part of the MTM family. Lean on each other. Let us know how we can be of help and share with us your successes and accomplishments. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you all in person sometime soon. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Dave. Next up, we have Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis is a professor and department chair in technology management. Prior to joining UC Santa Barbara in 2014, Lewis spent 15 years as, prof as professor of management in the Macomb School of Business at the University of Texas at Austin. Lewis received her early training at Duke University where she earned degrees in both computer science and mathematics. Later, she attended Carnegie Mellon University where she completed an MS in industrial administration followed by her PhD in organizational behavior management from the University of Maryland. Lewis's research on team performance and innovation is published in premier scholarly journals and has received international recognition. She teaches courses in leading people, managing diverse teams and collaborative innovation. Lewis also has experience in technology ventures as a software engineer, product manager, and technology strategy consultant. Thank you, Sarah. It's great to see all of you even on video. Um, congratulations on your huge academic achievements. I'm wearing regalia today to honor those academic achievements. And I saw that Marcello is joining me in wearing regalia tonight, so hats off. Um, I wanted to talk to you about how your accomplishments really do go beyond the academic realm. So let me start by jogging your memory about our class. So imagine you're in a job interview and you hear this. Tell me about a time when you persevered despite hardship. Tell me about a time when you invented a new way to get work done. Tell me about a time when you helped a colleague learn something new or when you motivated a team to complete a lengthy and difficult task. Tell me about a time when you succeeded under conditions of great ambiguity and uncertainty. And tell me about a time when you showed compassion at work? These are questions that you could be asked. These are questions that you know the answers to, and maybe you'll be asking some of these questions. But the point here is that you have lived experience that has great value. How will you use it? You are the vanguard of nothing short of the redefinition of work. How will organizational cultures be formed and modified and reinforced if most or half of us are remote? What is the new psychological contract between employees and employers 
regarding workload, efforts, rewards, and the timing of work? How have employees' values shifted? And how do organizations signal the same? What are new ways of collaborating across boundaries created by geography, technology, tools, and time? And then what are the challenges that you can anticipate because you've lived this and how will you go to meet them? You will be the next leaders that will shape the future of work and how work gets done. Bring your tools, not just from our formal courses, but also what you experienced. Leverage your learnings and make work better. I'm proud of you and what you've accomplished. Be proud of yourself and proud of each other. Go on, do good work, and work for good. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. All right, so next up, our next speaker is a graduating MTM student, Bilal Jamal. Bilal is from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and traveled to the US to attend Northeastern University, where he majored in industrial engineering. Prior to MTM, Bilal has experience in quality engineering for robotics and automation companies, new facility planning for sports apparel and nonprofits, and is a health and wellness business founder. Bilal is also an amateur boxer and coach. After MTM, Bilal hopes to enter the themed entertainment industry. Please welcome graduating MTM student, Bilal Jamal. Thank you, Sarah. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. On behalf of the Master of Technology Management class of 2020, I would like to welcome the program faculty, staff, administrators, as well as everyone that logged in from around the world to see their loved ones graduate today. I would first like to extend my gratitude to the graduating class and the administrators for electing me to share my thoughts in this speech today. It brings me great honor to represent the intelligent leaders that I pride myself in calling fellow graduates. Now I want to thank my parents for establishing my foundation as a leader and being the reason why I am here today, my friends for supporting me through my efforts, and of course, all of you graduates for bringing out the best in me and in each other over the past year. Having spent a significant portion of our studies under lockdown, it can seem almost surreal to relive memories from before the pandemic. But I vividly remember my first day as an MTM student. I was scanning our classroom for the ideal seat to commandeer when a friendly face suggested I sit next to them. Before I knew it, I was scheduling study sessions, going on hikes, and continuing to punch my sparring partners on Fridays. In that first class, however, I felt quite anxious, to say the least. Will I know the material well enough for next week? How will I contribute to that session? And most importantly, is Professor Bean going to give us another pop quiz next week? These were all questions that raced through my mind as I left class that day, but it was only 12 weeks later when my field project team started to confidently incorporate concepts from that first class into our project plan for the rest of the year. As leaders, our initial exposure to problems can be coupled with doubt, uncertainty, or even fear. It is our will to push forward and attack our problems with grit, perseverance, and determination, which inevitably promotes our growth as leaders. Now I would like to reflect on a more recent occasion, a fond memory of my business strategy team as we were huddled around the table in one of our study rooms. By that time, we had been discussing a decision point for just over two hours, and we're still only in that first section of our discussion for that week. I smile at this recollection as it, was, as it proved to be the embodiment of the sheer will and persistence that you leaders employ to succeed. In the words of Napoleon Hill, victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. And so I urge you all in these trying times to continue fighting and to persevere in your efforts. 
in times where human rights are threatened and injustice is a byproduct of negligence, our responsibilities shift to include looking out for those in our community who may not be as privileged as we are. And so my hope is that we apply our learnings to help empower underprivileged and marginalized members in both our immediate and global communities. Fellow leaders, these nine months of training were grueling, difficult, and intense. In this time, we've been pushed beyond our comfort zones and out into the real world to create value and become better versions of ourselves along the way. Also, I don't know if you've heard, but there's an ongoing global pandemic that didn't quite make things easier for us, now did it? However, I quote eight division world champion, Manny Pacquiao, who is a firm believer in rigorous preparation. If you work hard in training, the fight is easy, he says. Graduates, we completed our training against all, ad all odds and adversity. And I, had to and I had the pleasure to witness firsthand our blossoming as leaders. And now we take the fight to our world's problems to solve them. Congratulations, MTM class of 2020. And thank you all. Get down. Hmm? Get down. Me? Thank you, Bilal. It's a great speech. Thank you, Bilal, so much. All right, next up we have David Talene Lawton, or as we better know him as DTL. DTL helped launch the MTM program six years ago by helping perform the original market validation. DTL has since served as MTM's dedicated career development manager, coaching students on how to present their talent and experiences in a manner that highlights their drive and distinction. Please join me in welcoming DTL to share a few words about this year's cohort. Go MTM class of 2010. <laughs> 2020. 2020. I guess I got that wrong. Come on, I want to take you on a trip to see what you can remember. Do you remember the first time you stumbled through Phelps Courtyard and weren't sure where to go, where TM TMP was? Do you remember all those hours you spent here? Late at night, arguing. Maybe this is where the two hours that Bilal talked about happened, right here. And best of all, can you believe, can you remember this beautiful mural in the foyer? And of course, our TV screens with the weather on every day. And last, can you remember? Wait a minute. Who left the glass door open? Remember the first time you came into the classroom? Bilal talked about finding the perfect seat. Can you remember which professors had which policies about not having electronics or having electronics? and which professors changed their policy because of the way you used electronics? Can you remember who was late? Almost always who you knew would be late? And can you remember the first time you were late? There is a lot to remember from those quick nine months. And there have been a lot of changes. Dave talked about some of the changes. Bilal talked about some of them. The changes I know your family will see are the changes, if they could be a fly on the wall in a project management meeting, they'd see how confident you were. They see how you'd get the team to focus on the problem first and then worry about the solution. They would see how you get every member of the team engaged and using all of their abilities and working smoothly together to bring that project in on time. 
Another change that they'd see is how confident you are presenting, persuading in front of a room of C-level executives because you know you've done the work and you know you're delivering the goods. But there's one more thing. Bilal talked about starting with a pop quiz and that po at the very beginning of class. There, I'm gonna end this with a pop quiz and it's a really important question. It's a question that I answer several times a day, but it's a question you'll be answering yourself. And that question is, chocolate, milk, or dark? Ooh. Congratulations, class of 2020, MTM cohort five. Take it away, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, DTL. What a great walk down memory lane. That was amazing. Um, now we're going to present the MTM class of 2020. Graduates, please make sure to turn your cameras and your sound on uh, so that we can see your faces as your names are presented. Uh, and please join in in uh, cheering and congratulating your fellow classmates on. Here we go. Hi, I'm Avery Spiel. I would love to give special thanks to my Sonos team. This includes Gary Hansen, Bilal, Linus, Kate, Ash, and Chris. You guys really made my MTM experience one to remember, and I thank you all. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sonam Sinha, and I want to thank the faculty and staff members for making it the best learning experience here at UCSB. My family for their love and support. My friends for joining me today. And finally, congratulations to all the fellow graduates. I wish you the best for your future. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Marcello Farigu, and I want to thank my family, my genitori. E tutti i miei amici che sono collegati. A presto. Hey, my name's Ali. I'm super grateful for the opportunity that I had to be in MTM. Hi to my family who I haven't seen in three months. They're on this Zoom call. Um, and a special thank you to Michael and Victoria and Dave Adornetto for constantly pushing me to be the very best student that I possibly can be. Um, There's a lot of office hours <laughs> and I'm very appreciative of that. So thank you and congratulations. Hunter Gordon. Hello, um, this is Jean. Um, uh, I would like to thank for um, Professor Runner for um, guiding us through the project and all the faculties. And I would like to thank for uh, our classmates that make me a wonderful journey in the NTM uh, program. In the end, I want to thank for my uh, family Thank you. Hi, I'm Wesley. Um, I want to thank my family for coming out today. Um, all my amazing classmates, my field project team was super awesome. And let's be honest, it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Sungut. Uh, hi, my name is Rumit Panchal. I would like to thank my parents to support me uh, because of them I am standing here in front of you. And thanks DTL, thank you so much for giving us the tour of the memories that we share. Uh, thank you so much. Michael Curtis. Okay, hi, my name is Kate. I would like to thank 
wonderful faculty for the wonderful memories you have all you all have given me. And I would like to thank you, my my family, my mom, my dad, and HCC, Luan, PP, Spencer, Lottie, Rick, Celeste, Anna, and Chris for the loving support throughout my education. Thank you, Mama. You guys know me, uh, Michael Peter Wait. Hey guys. Well, of course, I cannot top that, Mike. You're the best, really. I want to thank faculty, all my classmates, my resident team. You guys have been great. Uh, grazie ai miei genitori, sono i migliori per avermi dato questa opportunità. E un grande saluto speciale, ragazzi della Barca Marza. Pier Giacomo. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Apurva Gupta. I want to congratulate all of you on, for graduating and would like to thank everyone for being part of my journey, my family, the wonderful professors for their constant support, amazing peers. Thank you everyone and good luck. Hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, all my classmates for being a joy to be around, um, especially my resident teammates who made the project such a great success, and also our faculty advisor, Professor Rotner. Um, I'd also like to thank my family uh, for inspiring me to be great and make you guys proud. Um, specifically, I have to give a shout out to my mom, Harriet Corte, uh, my auntie, um, Henrietta Corte, and all my cousins and little brother, um, Derek Okuyama Boateng, Judith the Dark Well, Alice, um, Jude, all of you guys, Uncle Sam, you guys uh, make me want to make you proud. So much love to you all, and uh, thank you for getting me where I am. Jess Carpenter. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to thank my parents for supporting me along this journey. Um, I especially want to thank my friends for always being there for me. Um, and then the faculty, the faculty was amazing, especially Travis. Travis, you killed it. Um, super helpful along the way. Uh, my name is Stella, and I would like to thank all the people that uh, I have been cooperating with. And uh, uh, I haven't uh, interacted with uh, so many foreigners uh, before, so uh, uh, it, it would be uh, the most beautiful memories in my life. Thank you. Hi, my name is Frank. Uh, first, I'm so grateful that I have my parents, families, and friends, even uh, teams, support to fulfill my aspirations. And so for all of us, just enjoy our life, chasing our dream, and continue to pursue excellence where we go in the future. Thank you. Michelle Rosen, I'd like to say a special thanks to all of my MTM friends and my family for supporting me along the way. Special shout out to my FLIR team and my Coffee Break team, Jessica Gerwin and Marcello. Victoria Snedden. Hello. Um, I want to thank my family and my friends. Especially, I want to thank you, my mom and my dad. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Aishwarya. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and my UCSB family who have supported me throughout in this journey. A big hello to all of you across the globe as you watch me now. I congratulate the entire class of NTM 2020 on this very special day. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Mithun Janu. I would like to thank my parents. They are the pillars of my strength. I would also like to thank my professors for their guidance and fellow students for making this experience memorable. Congratulations, everyone, and go Gauchos. Hey, it's Philip here. So, sorry, I was on mute there, but shout out to the faculty and shout out to Team Appeal. Thanks for a great year. Hey, this is John T. Of course, I'm pretty sure my family and friends are watching this right now. Uh, I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout the years, not just financially, but everything else. Thank you all. Thank you.
Hey, this is Chintan Panchal. I just want to say thank you to entire MTM family. Thank you. Ted Barthel. Hi, this is Kong Ying. I want to say thank you to my friends and family. Thanks for your support along the way. And also thanks all the MTM faculties. Thanks for your outstanding classes and thanks my HD Insights team. Thanks everyone. Thank you the entire cohort and a deep thank you to my, all my family uh, for the constant love and support. Love you all. Banu Kavila. Hi, this is Sudesh. I want to thank uh, you to my family and the amazing friends that I made uh, after coming here. And a shout out to Dirty Mike, as always, for making yeah. this experience really beautiful. Thanks. Dirty Mike. Hello, this is Evan. I would like to say uh, thank you to my parents and I would also like to say thanks to my appeal team. I really appreciate you guys. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica. I wanna say huge congratulations to the class of 2020 and wanna let you know what a great experience it has been to learn and grow with you all. I am Nina Gupta and would like to congratulate the entire class of MTM 2020. I would first like to thank my family and friends for their endless support and encouragement. I thank the whole of MTM community, the staff and the faculty members, the students who fostered this great learning environment. And it's an absolute honor to be a graduate of technology management program. Thank you very much. Deek Harinath. Hello, Bilal Jamal here. Abuya, Ummi, Akhwati, I love you all. I hope to see you very soon. Shout outs to the Chiltil and Weebs. Shout out to MB. Kegas Love, Kegas Life, and the Duke's Varsity team. Thank you all. Hi, I'm Tanu. I would like to thank my entire family for their support and encouragement throughout this journey. I would also like to thank the MTM faculty for sharing their knowledge and preparing us for the next career steps. Lastly, congratulations to the class of 2020 and a big hello to my entire family who's watching me from India. I'm Claire Jakes. I wanna say thank you to all our professors for your support throughout the entire year and DTL. I appreciate all the work you've done to help us. Um, and also to say thanks to my family who's here either virtually or here in person. Thank you. Hey, I'm Ashley Reddy. I would like to thank my parents, my friends, my professors, and Dirty Mike and the boys, as well as Snoop Dogg who made my life lit in California. Thank you. Hey guys, Alex here. Thank you all for this amazing year. Really appreciate it, all of you guys. And uh, also thank you for the faculty and DTL and uh, Decker's team. Uh, you guys really killed it. Looking forward to seeing you all on the job market. Take care. Kelsey Shetler. Um, go, uh, a couple of graduates didn't have the opportunity to speak, um, so I'd like to welcome Ted Barthel to give a short address. Hey folks, I'd like to thank the Academy, my family, Shred Crew, everyone at TMP, and all my classmates. May you always be proud to be a gaucho. I know I will. Peace. 
Okay, and that's all of our graduates. Congratulations. Thank you guys, and that concludes our ceremony. Congratulations, MTM class of 2020.